Now, PewDiePie, and so, we're, so the discussion at hand is over him using the N-word, um, using nigger with a hard R. I mean, obviously, that's a very, that's a word that, like, it gets a lot of reaction in one side of the spectrum or another. My thing is that the word is used by people who are racist to demean other people who are of African-American descent, who, are, who have black skin like I do. I'm a fucking black man. So, I mean, yes, if you are racist against black people, you will use the word nigger to demean them. Now, does that mean every use of the word nigger is meant to demean people? No, it doesn't. It's all about the context and how you use the word. I'm not trying to sound like some kind of scholar or anything, but think about it. There's been plenty of instances... And here's another thing, too. Before we continue on that level, there's a very big difference between using nigga and nigger, okay? Like, it's some people treat it as if the words are the same. They're not the fucking same, okay? One is a derivative, a bastardization of the other. And, I mean, over time, nigga has spiraled into something completely on its own where I don't give a fuck if you say nigga. I don't care if you're white, you say nigga. I don't care if you're black, you say nigga. I don't care if you're Spanish, you say nigga. As long as you're not saying nigger in a way that's meant to insult or demean or or to, to to incite hate at somebody else okay i dub says nigger with a hard r too but all the instances that i dubs has said it he used it for parody or to make a point with the tana mongo situation mongoose manga whatever the fuck you say her name is there's a difference between how i dubs uses it and how pewdiepie used it in that one instance now i'm not saying that i was super offended by it but i am saying it looked a certain way when because, the, the, like I said, the context of how he used it, it wasn't a situation where he was making fun of something or parodying something or putting extreme measure on something. And like I said, nigga is different because it's hard to use nigga in an offensive way because it's such an endearing term. <laughs> It is. It is. I mean, H3H3 says nigga. No one gives a fuck. I dub says nigga. No one gives a fuck. Ice Poseidon says nigga. No one gives a fuck. When you put the hard R on it. Now, I've said nigger with a hard R before, but never ever have i ever directed nigger or any other racial slur at someone in an offensive hateful or aggressive way to incite that i actually am aiming to hurt them with the word okay the only context that i've ever said nigger in was in a joking context a ridiculous context a satire context parody context or some kind of ridiculous one where it's obvious i'm not trying to hate on anyone i'm just using it for the sake of oh it's so fucking ridiculous and even then it's, you got to be careful with it you've never heard me say oh look at this fucking nigger like no that sounds weird coming from me right I'm a dark YouTuber, you know? There's two sides of YouTube, the faces and the darkness. I'm in the darkness of YouTube. I'm one of the more not gonna be promoted YouTubers but still has a following because I'm so fucking ridiculous YouTubers. And you will have never heard me say something like someone, oh, you fucking nigger. Like, no, no, that doesn't happen. Not even in rap does that happen. You don't hear people dropping hard R's in rap. You hear them dropping the A's. Yes, you may think, oh, nigger is different from nigger. No, it, it is, it is actually different. They're not the same word, all right? And one is used. It's not that the word has power over people, too. It's the fact that people who hate others of different ethnicities use the word to show that they hate. It's it's That's the context that it's used in that's kind of messed up. I'm sorry that I'm not reading the, you know, Slick Back Savage. Thank you for the $100 donation, but I'm sorry. I just want to make sure that my chain of thought is not fucked up. Um, I did say nigger, but I'm using it in the context of an explanation, educational purpose. I'm using it in the, I'm not aiming nigger at anybody in here. I've never aimed nigger at anyone, okay? Even me as a black man saying nigger sounds fucking weird to me. And I know it sounds weird to you because you don't hear even black people who use it actively or minorities who use it actively, you don't hear them using the hard R that continuous. Another word that can be sort of equal to it in a way is faggot. And I'm, this is another word which, here's the thing, right? Do I think PewDiePie is racist? Fuck no, this nigga ain't racist. How, PewDiePie of all people racist? Nigga, that, 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 that's impossible. But the thing that makes it... The thing that, that, that makes it kind of like different is because we're raised, me, PewDiePie and I, we share something. We have something very in common, right? We were both born and raised on the internet back when it was a savage beast, a wildling. And the internet back then had no restraint, no restrictions. You could say whatever. And even if you didn't really understand what the impact of a word meant back then on the internet, but you would just say it just for the fun. I was raised on 4chan. They say nigger all the time. Faggot all the time. Fag. OP's a fag. Nigger. 
we say f I grew up on 4chan saying faggot, typing faggot, just just replying faggot so many times. And doesn't it sound weird for me even saying the word that much? I don't use the word anymore. I used to use it a lot. The reason why I don't use it anymore is because I understand. I, I get the perspective where the only reason why you would want to use the word actively is if you are either insensitive to the fact that, yes, it's used as a way to portray hate towards someone. It's not that the people are too sensitive. It's that if you are someone who is biased or you have any kind of hatred or malice against homosexual people, the way that you know to show that malice is to use faggot. The way you know as a person who hates African Americans is to show malice is to use nigger. A, like, or you can, it doesn't even, it's not even dependent on the word. You know, monkey is just a word too. Monkey is a word that can apply to different situations in different contexts. But if you use monkey in the exact context to be offensive, it will sound offensive. If someone comes up to me and says, you fucking nigger, or says, you fucking monkey, it's going to offend me one way or another because I know not that the word is powerful, but that that person is fucking racist and they hate my culture and they hate my people, they hate my skin color. And that's the where, that's where it comes in a little bit weird. And not, it's not to say that PewDiePie is racist, but like I said, you know what, let me show you guys an example, because I'm sorry, I'm getting a lot of donations right now. I'm sorry, I'm not able to fucking read the donations. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting caught up into it right now, but I just want to explain my perspective. I'm going to show you guys something which is going to kind of hurt. This is an old video of mine, and this is not going to be taken in the same light context as my other stuff. Oh, Ice DVD, motherfucking fresh off the motherfucking block, and motherfucking Subway sandwiches, 12 inches and all that. This isn't going to be taken in that context. This is going to be a video of what I used to sound like what i used to actually base my my jokes upon and how eventually i learned that especially if you're in the public eye that it's just not cool to use certain terminology in a way that's insensitive like it, you have you can i'm not here to say that as a white person you can't say nigga i personally me speaking i don't care you can say nigga because nigga is not really going to be perceived as offensive but if you're using nigger with a hard r you ha if you're going to use it Make sure the context is actually applicable, like like how Idubs did. He doesn't just throw it around. Like, and the thing that made it weird with PewDiePie is that he said it in a way that, like I said, I don't think he's racist, but because the internet kind of trains us to just be insensitive towards certain words, like like you know fag or whatever, like it kind of makes it so we just say it even if we don't really understand how it could be like you know seen used as a tool of hatred or like used to get used to offend somebody you know what i mean because it's just like the way we were born you know or the way we were raised on the internet you know it's just kind of built into us especially looking at south park south park I'm, some of you guys may not notice this south park is pewdiepie pewdiepie is south park he was fucking raised by that series and in south park we know damn well what the vernacular could be and it's like it, it kind of it's good and bad in a way I, it's not i'm not trying to say that the word should be completely off limits but even even if you're a black person using the hard r it has to be like if i if i was using the hard r against people whenever i got mad or whenever you know frustration came in or it was a situation like pewdiepie's where he got killed in a video game and it's just like oh let me think of the first offensive thing to say that comes to mind when i'm playing a twitch shooter are you fucking nigger like it, it, it's kind of like it doesn't mean he's racist but it just means that it, it he doesn't perceive that People who are racist use the word in the exact same way that he used the word. They do. They use it the exact same way. Like, the, the, those, those racist ass motherfuckers that we have here in America, they say it just like that. I've had them say it to me. Well, you fucking nigger. And it's like, damn, okay. Well, I don't get, I don't get mad. I'm like, attack them all. Oh, you, what you call me? No, I don't do all that. But it's just like, damn, okay. He's clearly hateful. And it's like, I gotta avoid that shit. But... PewDiePie used it in the same way that actual racists use it. So it just was like, damn, I thought you would have been aware of it. But he's not racist. He's just dumb in the sense that he didn't realize in that moment, oh, I'm using this the same way racist people use it. Now, if he used it how Idubs used it, then it wouldn't be a problem. No, I mean, even though people, some people wanted to say, oh, Idubs using nigger back then, but the whole parody situation was fucked up. I didn't think it was fucked up because there was a reason behind it and it made sense. But the way PewDiePie used it was a little bit like, Mm. We have a donation coming in from Max, um, um, Matrixer, Matrixer. Thank you for the donation, man. I'm so sorry that I'm not able to like be, um, be completely engaged with the donation. He donated 100 and 150 fucking dollars. Jesus.
I'm in the zone right now. I'm sorry, man. You know I damn well. I'm going to read back on all these donations. I'm going to read back. Make sure if you guys are donating and you're talking about the PewDiePie situation, once I finish making my point, then I'll start to read your points and I'll like, re, I, you know, I'll reverb with you. But, you know, if you want to donate and give me your opinions, then that's fine as well, too. I'm going to read the chat, of course, as well, too. But um, I just wanted to show you guys an old video of mine where it's like I can show you an example of what I'm talking about here, where it's like, I used to just be totally desensitized to using the word faggot because it was like, okay, whatever. I mean, the internet uses it all the time. People type it all the time. So what's the problem? Is It's just a word. You know, how can it hurt people or whatever, you know? And let me see here. This is going to be old. Pokemon, black, two, white, two, Etika. Is this, is this going to make it pop up? No, this is way... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is, may not be like a horrible example of it, but it's going to be at least... You'll, you'll kind of get what I'm saying. This is a video that I uploaded in 2013, back when I was a way smaller YouTube channel. And, um, you know, I had less eyeballs on me, so obviously I wasn't really thinking as much, you know, Playing using my words Pokemon, a certain way. white version 2. Oh, my God. A feat that I actually never did before because I never really... I, my voice sounds weird as fuck. I never really had the motivation behind it because... Oh, if we get doing this, then... When I try to... This might be, this might take a little while, but I'm... Oh boy. Okay, my name... E... Ah, this is gonna take too long. Okay, let's just say that I made a lot of gay jokes in the video. I used the word faggot a couple of times. And it's like... I obviously learned from then not to, like, do it as much. PewDiePie had actually said this in a video of his, too. I don't know how many of you guys saw it. But he had him, he himself had said... I used to say faggot a lot. I used to make a lot of gay jokes a lot. I used to do a lot of that fucked up, like, and I used to do a lot of those jokes where it just used the word with no actual applicable context, you know? And I felt really fucked up behind it because it was like I was using it the same way that people who do have hate would use it. And it's like, it didn't, it didn't make sense to use it in those situations. So it's like, I stopped using it. And that's where... Maybe it, it stood up from then because, you know, the, the internet uses nigger all the time, you know, like even in the chat right now, a lot of you are saying, oh, I can type in nigger in the chat and, you know, you, you're not getting mad at me for saying nigger or whatever. I'm saying it to you in a hateful way. Well, there's a couple of reasons behind why you don't receive a bunch of fucking hate whenever you type in nigger in my chat, the millionth nigger that comes in and the million and tenth nigger that comes in. The reason why is because, number one, you're in a chat where your identity is anonymous, so obviously, you know, you don't have anything to worry about. Now, if you actually had a face to the name and you actually knew who the person was, I mean, that would still wouldn't stop everybody. But, you know, it would help. It would definitely cut the grass a little bit when it comes to how people just use the word nonchalantly. Two, for a fact, it's definitely known that a lot of the uses of nigger in this chat, at least, in some areas on the Internet, is purely for the sake of satire and for extremity, for just completely just making fun of a situation, just going completely overboard for the sake of just being extreme. And yes, it's, it's still kind of like, like, meh, there too. But I mean, it's the, it's the way that it's used in those situations, right? Three, you're not someone who has eyeballs on them all the time, who has to set an example and is the biggest YouTuber on the platform, who has a lot of influence behind all their decisions and what Yay. they say and do on the internet. I mean, as much as it sounds biased as fuck, it's true. When you have an audience on the internet and there's people watching you, even if you are the most raunchy, and PewDiePie is raunchy, the most... Just, just, just discriminative. Yes, I'm, I'm very, I'm very fucking extreme. With, like, you know, even if you're the most extreme YouTuber, there are certain things that you just can't do that you did before you had an audience. You know, and this is something that even Filthy Frank will fucking agree with. I mean, it's like there's certain lines that I've seen Filthy Frank come close to crossing that he never did, and the reason why he won't ever cross those lines, as much as he's gone really far to cross certain lines he's crossed a lot of lines but there's certain lines he will never fucking cross and the reason why is because when you have viewers and an audience it's it, it it doesn't just apply to youtube it applies to everything in life man like no matter if it's a fucking executive position in an office if you're working in a goddamn cubicle if you're working at a school and you're a teacher whether you're a, a bus driver or whatever the hell position may be when you have the eyeballs of the public on you and people are looking at you for certain things certain things that you say and do just will have way more impact when you do them with the audience rather than just doing them as an individual with no kind of um no kind of fucking um recognition yeah. or anything beforehand you know it, it, i don't know if what i'm saying is making sense i'm i've been going on for a long time i haven't read the chat yet so clearly i don't know if this is going to be like you know just my perspective or if you guys are um disagreeing with me a lot in that situation but i'm just telling you how i perceive the shit you know what i mean